Are you bored in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 or just looking to add some extra realism to the sim? Well, you're in luck because over the last year I tested about 50 add-ons for it and I'm bringing you the absolute best of the best, the top 8 add-ons free and paid that you can use with Microsoft Flight Simulator. So welcome to Pilot where I share my passion for virtual aviation with you and bringing you hardware and add-on review tutorials and Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 news to you twice a week on Monday and Friday. We start at number 8 on the list with Rex Real Global Airport Texture. It's on sale right now for $12.57 but please note that this place and all the other placements on this list are merely based on my subjective experience and not necessarily ranks only the quality of the add-on and I recommend you think for yourself on which add-on would fit your flying experience the most. I made this list based on how much I use the add-on and how much of a quality of a life upgrade it is and obviously the quality of it as well. So this one, Rex Real Global Airport Textures, is aiming to add a lot of things to the game including tire marks, dirt, grit, etc. graphical upgrades to airport, taxiways, signs, markings and more. Now, there is an alternative to this in the in-game store named Enhanced Airport Graphics by Xenotac, but that is a little bit more expensive at around 15 to 18 bucks depending on conversion values and that has a lot less configurations available. So because of the price of it and it's not something that you would see every day and kind of notice how much it adds, I would say this is a nice to have and especially because it costs money, there are some better add-ons for completely free. If you don't find anything exciting, I think this will add some extra realism to your sim, but again, it's not something super special or necessarily need to have. And number seven, we're reminded how one of the most annoying parts of flying happens in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 if you're flying at night. Because you're not gonna see anything, basically. You don't know where to park and you can't navigate based on the, well, let's be honest, catchy taxi and apron lights. So here comes Android 3 d with his solution amply named Airport Light. <laughs> now, this project adds 32,000 plus light poles to the simulator and mainly improves apron and gate lighting. I'll show you some before and afters on the screen. I think it's quite a difference. Now, this add-on is currently completely free with no premium options and has virtually no effect on the FPS of your game. It is super easy to install, you can just download it, put it into the community folder of your copy of the game and that's about it. Now, Andrew notes in the project that maybe in the future he'd begin working on better taxi and runway lights, which honestly I would actually pay for, not just as a free add-on, I would actually get it if it costs money, but given that this is a free project, I think this is definitely a must-have one, even if you don't plan to fly at night a lot. The only reason why this doesn't come higher is because you're not gonna fly at night all that often, or at least I don't, so maybe if you do, this might be number one for you. On the sixth place comes Real Taxiways EU or US edition. The only reason why this isn't higher on the list is that not all of you will need it and it's not super cheap. That said, if you watch the video till the end, I'll be hiding another $10 gift card code to Just Flight where you can buy this one or all the other listed add-ons. Now, as we all know, there are some really good and expensive airports in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, but if you want to buy at least you know, 5, 10, 15 of them, the bill will add up pretty quick. So I think one of the cheapest ways to improve almost all the airports in the game is to get real taxiways. Now you can buy only the EU or only the US version or get them in the bundle. The bundle currently costs 45 bucks, a bit cheaper in euros, so that comes down to about 22.5 per pack. If you buy them individually, they run you 39.99, so it's definitely a better value to go for the bundle. So when should you get this package? I say it's a must-have if you want to fly VATSIM or IVO network, since being able to see the taxiway you were ordered to go to by ATC is crucial on these networks. In any other cases, it's still a nice to have to add realism to most airports you'll be flying without spending thousands on custom airports. I just wish it'd be a little bit cheaper, but again, I can imagine that this wasn't a small task to create, so I think it's worth it. And again, especially if you're someone flying on the networks, this will be definitely money well spent. Coming in at number five, we have FS Realistic Pro. Now, this is another paid add-on. Again, in the list later on, we'll be covering a lot of really good free stuff, which is obviously higher on the list, but this one comes in at $29.99. That's the price point. Now, as its name implies, the add-on's main purpose is to add more realism to your sim and what a surprise and it adds currently about 30 sounds and vibration effects all configurable to your aircraft and flying experience such as touchdown vibrations and sounds depending on how smooth of a landing it was that you did engine start vibrations reverse thrust turbulence speed brakes drag effect and the sound ground effect float splashing when you land in water and more it is currently in beta on vr but i found it to be working pretty well obviously this is a subjective experience only and again if you have something like the butt kicker i think this will complement that set up pretty nicely too. I've seen some videos on the internet, so this might be something that you really want to get. So I think for the price, it is a really good add-on. This is again something that you would use every single day. So the only reason why this is not higher on the list is because it costs still quite a lot of money. As we're getting to the first half of the list at number four, we're getting to more and more free projects, as I promised. Now this one is definitely a must-have, not just because it is free, but because it adds so much fine details to the world of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020.
on it. Power Lines and Solar Farms is a completely free add-on that you can download and install quickly from Just Flight. As its name implies, it adds power lines between the power pylons in the game and solar farms slash panel. It makes a huge difference, especially if you're flying VFR stuff or even in VR. Now, the creator added even the little white and red ball to be accurate that you'd have in the real life power lines so you can see where they are from a plane. And just as with his other project called Project Lift, there is even a collision model added here. There are some noteworthy bugs, but nothing super immersion breaking, and I think it's all clearly detailed on his site. So give it a read, but download it and add it to your sim if you're ever planning to fly VFR or VR or both. And even if you fly in only IFR conditions or only IFR aircrafts, this will still improve the airports you're flying into. The only reason why this is not higher on the list is because, as with the others, not everyone will have the need for it. But since it's completely free, you really should be getting power lines and solar farms. And now we're coming up on the podium. But before that, I just wanted to let you know that we have a Discord where I'll be doing a screenshot competition for real money prizes when we reach 500 subscribers on this channel. So make sure to check out the description. Join the Discord again, it's completely free. All you have to do is submit some screenshots of you flying and you might be getting some extra money to one of the stores so you can buy some nice add-ons. The next one is the most expensive add-on that I've actually listed. However, it is coming at, at number three because it's a daily driver for me. Navigraph is a monthly subscription at 11 euros 49 a month and I couldn't find USD pricing but it would be about 12 and a half dollars. So at roughly the cost of your Netflix subscription, what you'll be getting is I think a quite a good value. First of all, you'll be getting all the current Jeppesen charts integrated in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 or you can get it in a desktop app or even an iPad app at the same time. You can set up your whole flight plan with SimBrief, which is a Navigraph company and import it in Navigraph. You can also export your flight plan from Navigraph to the flight simulator from here too, which I find a great tool because I can obviously easier plan it here than inside the game. Other than a great planning tool, you'll be getting ground charts, approach plates, departure procedure documents and more, literally everything that the real pilots would be using. Most of these charts will even show you your in-sim location on them, which will obviously help you navigating them even more. Now, other features that I like include active meter information per airport. The app also shows you crosswind component on runways, so you can see which runways would suit you better if ATIS or tower controlling is not provided to you and is incredibly easy and actually very good to use in VR, which is a massive help when finding comp frequencies, VR navigation stuff and more. So again, this is something that I literally use every single day that I fly and it may be an expensive one because it is a monthly subscription, but if you're gonna fly, I think this makes a lot of sense and I use it way more than, for example, my Netflix subscription, which is why this is at number three. We are closing in on number one. So at number two, it is the loved and highly recommended Vlov VFR package. Now there are three packages to download, all for completely free. So regardless how and how much you fly, this is something that you absolutely need to add right away to your game. It adds so many landmarks, features, antennas, smokestacks, cooling towers, construction canes, etc. It's crazy good. And again, did I mention that all three packages are for free? The only reason why this only has the silver medal is because while I do fly a lot of VFR in VR and with these features on the land below navigation is way easier, not all of you will be flying as much general aviation and VFR flights as I do. And even if I'm flying at a place that I don't know, looking out the window and seeing a factory below puffing smokes just adds so much more atmosphere to your flights and obviously your screenshots as well. It does not conflict with any other mods. It covers three regions for now, as I'll show on screen right now so you can see which one is which. And it is super easy to download. So again, make sure you do. And again, the only the reason why this is not number one is because not all of you will be flying as much VFR as I do. Now we're getting to number one, so I wanted to thank you for your continued support in the channel. In just a matter of two weeks, we went from zero to 120 subscribers with only two videos on this channel, which is insane. And if you have any recommendations for me, let me know in the comments and subscribe not to miss them. At number one, our gold medalist for today is Fatsim. Now there is another network that you can fly on called IVAO, but for the purpose of this video, I will be grouping them into one. So it's not strictly an add-on for this game, but I think it's definitely a good extra that goes insanely well with it. It deserves its first place simply because it is so good and it adds so much more realism to your flights and so much more excitement and purpose to your flights. And I really only fly on one of these networks for now. The point of both IVEO and VATSIM is to provide real ATC air traffic control by volunteers. Now, obviously they won't always be 100% accurate, but you'd be surprised on how close it actually gets. From flying from a small field in a small plane, just in VFR, to departing from Heathrow in an airliner, you could potentially have all the real world ATC position filled and in your ear with real people on the other side of it. You can even simulate emergency situations, diversions and more. However, both networks come with their own regulations and VATSIM actually has a small entry test 
but nothing to be super anxious about. So if you haven't tried out either, definitely get on one or both. And if you're afraid you'll mess it up with a real person controlling you, I have started my VATSIM slash IVO guide on the channel. The first part releases on Monday and I'll be walking you through everything from the setup to your first slide and more. 